Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Phillips. I'm here to introduce myself to you and to uh, talk a little bit about um, my thoughts about Aventus. Um, so yeah, it's uh, 7 a.m. right now in London. Um, it's pretty early, I got my coffee here. Um, but yeah, I'm good to go. So yeah, so yeah, my my name is Nathan Phillips. Um, uh, did a master's in mechanical engineering in the University of Sheffield here in the UK. Um, yeah, loved engineering, loved math and science as a child, um, and uh, yeah, worked uh, for two years in London as an engineer uh, within fire engineering. Um, so uh, you know, helping architects, developers. Kind of navigate through the uh, fire regulations and helping them build buildings. Um, uh, but then shortly after, I caught the entrepreneurial bug. I kind of wanted to start my own business and got into e-commerce. Um, so I launched a couple of websites. Um, so one website would be selling electric bikes in the US. Um, I worked with a number of international brands. Uh, and my, uh, I sort of helped them, you know, kind of find the go-to market strategy. Um, so, you know, how do these brands kind of use this somewhat new digital technology to kind of make money online, right? Um, so, yeah, so that that's my, uh, kind of my, where I got into to business. Um and then throughout that process, I kind of stumbled across crypto, um, kind of quite randomly, actually. Um, my landlord at the time, he uh, he was just obsessed with Bitcoin, um, and he just you know you know all his tenants, he was just raving on about Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, yeah look at this, you know, drawing us diagrams. You know, trying to explain what it is, and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. You know what? I'm, I'm pretty. You know, I, I like. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a sci-fi nerd, so this got me. You know, got me really interested. Um, so yeah, I, I looked into it. Um, I first, my, my, I sort of looked into Ripple and XRP first, and um, you know, at the at the time, I was working on a US. Uh, e-commerce website and I had a lot of issues with trying to set up a US bank account as a British citizen so you know the whole use case around XRP and Ripple um, just kind of resonated with me um, and yeah I did a lot of research and then I kind of saw I, I wouldn't say saw the writing on the wall but I just you know, just looking through all the information online, I just knew that, you know, this this technology is something that is kind of on par with what the internet kind of was, right, when it first came out. Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, that's how I got into crypto, and now I'm working with Aventus. Um, yeah, so the next question is, what are your responsibilities at Aventus? Yeah, okay, so yeah, so I am a business analyst at uh, Aventus. So what I do is I basically look at businesses, um, you know, research what they're currently doing, how they're doing it, and I try to find what are the inefficiencies in their current business process. Um, so I do that by, you know, researching, you know, whatever I can find online. Uh, but the best source of information is, is going, you know, directly to people who are in the business. Um, so I try to, you know, I always try to get, you know, people on, on, on a video call and, and I, I basically interview people and, and put what I understand from them down 
in a document and summarize everything and try to find, you know, how can we make your business better with using blockchain? So yeah, so I'm a, yeah, I would say a blockchain business analyst, I guess. Um, so that's one side. And then the other side is um, just general research around use cases. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a strong believer in that, you know, you know, blockchain is great, cryptocurrency is great, but you know, if, if the network doesn't solve a real problem in the real world, then you know, where's the value in that, right? It needs, it needs to actually connect to the real world. It needs to solve a real problem, right? So that's kind of the standpoint of where I'm working from. Um, so yeah, I, I do research, um, look at data online, bring that back to the team, share it with the team. And yeah, that's what I do at Aventus. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, what does Aventus mean to you? Yeah, so Ventus, um, you know, I, I kind of think of it as, you know, one of the companies in the early days of the internet. Um, and, you know, it's incredibly exciting, right? Like, you know, being part of something that, you know, I believe is going to be, you know, this is going to be you know, it's going to be part of the next uh, industrial revolution, you know. So, you know, having the opportunity to work here, you know, work alongside, you know, like-minded people who are, you know, everyone's so incredibly talented here. Um, you know, it's a real, it's a real privilege. I feel super lucky and, um, you know, yeah, you know, I, I see it as we're basically you know, what we're building today is going to be, we'll be setting the standard for, uh, you know, generations to come. So, so yeah, so that that's a grand view of things. But yeah, that, that's what it means to me. So the next question is, uh, how does your past experience help you in your role? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so first I, I did engineering, so I, I'm coming at it with a uh, kind of more of a, I guess, a quantitative background, a numerical background. Um, so breaking things down, seeing how they all fit together. You know, in business, things are quite ambiguous a lot of times. So it really helps having that clarity of breaking things down. And, you know, this is how this fits to here. That's how this fits to that. Um, so I think that's where the engineering background helps. And then uh, my experience in e-commerce, you know, launching websites, helping businesses. I think that kind of the business acumen built up from, you know, those those experiences really helps in me kind of pinpointing, you know, what I should be looking at or what we should be looking at. Yeah, and then also, uh, you know, I'm, I'm I do actually release um, a bit of my own research publicly on, on Twitter and YouTube. Um, so I, I research a lot about interoperability and, you know, blockchain specific topics. Um, so, you know, that that's not work experience, but you know, that, you know, just having that base knowledge really helps. Yeah. Okay. So the next question is, where do you see Aventus in the next five to 10 years? Well, yeah, I mean, I see it up there. I see it. <laughs> I think I think we're going to be, you know, one of the networks that will be handling a lot of the transactions that um you know, a lot of the you know, traditional businesses, right? You know, they have they have a lot of uh, kind of infrastructure which is currently built up. Um so I see Aventus you know, really pushing forward and and onboarding a lot of those transactions onto our network um and it may be things that you know the normal everyday person doesn't even realize that is on a blockchain you know so you know we're not we're not after you know i, I don't want to talk about any other industries or networks but you know we're we're going after like big transactions and you know big 
you know, mass industry use cases. So, yeah, I, I, I think it's, I'm very excited. Anyway, <laughs> I can't share too much about it. I, I, I really want to talk about it, but yeah, I mean, I can't share too much about it, but. Okay, so when you're not working, what do you like to do for fun? Yeah, okay, that's cool. Fun question, yeah. So I am a bit of a, I guess, I, I, I really like endurance sports. I was going to say I was a bit of a masochist, that I, <laughs> but I really like endurance sports. But, uh, you know, things like long distance running, uh, cycling, I love cycling. Um, so yeah, so when I'm not working, I try to cycle around uh, London. Maybe do like 10 km, 20 km on the weekend, and then uh, find a nice place to have a drink after a long ride. You know, there's nothing better than a sip of uh, beer after a long ride, right? I don't know if you guys can relate, but you know, you should definitely try it out. Uh, it makes everything taste better, you know, after you've worked for it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm usually just working out. I'm getting into chess recently, actually. Um, I play chess online, so that's quite interesting. That's quite fun for me as well. Um, yeah, just just playing games or working out. Basically, that's what I do in my free time. When Avian reaches one billion transactions, how will you celebrate? I don't know, really. I haven't really thought about it. Um, I think it'd be quite surreal thinking about it. One billion transactions, wow. You know, I think, you know, we're, I think we're probably going to meet up with each other because, uh, you know, the team's all remote at the moment. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to see everyone, you know. Yeah, I just think, you know, yeah, I guess have a few drinks. What else, right? I mean, there's one billion transactions. Woo! I mean, yeah, have a few drinks, meet up. Yeah, I mean, you you have to celebrate it, right? I don't know, really. I, yeah. I mean, as you can see, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's quite, that would be quite surreal f for me. Um, I'll just be, I'll just be happy inside, really. Like, I'll just be happy, like, wow, okay. We've all reached here. We've reached this milestone. I'll just... You know, just take a step back and, you know, just recognize the work we have done, right? So, yeah. So, that was it from me. Um, it's good to meet you all. And, uh, yeah, follow follow Aventus. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Um, you know, we'll be making videos like this, uh, you know, more frequently. So, yeah. Keep in touch and I'll catch you later.